We're going to define the goals of what that, that's going to look like and again continue to come back to the pastoral council and make recommendations on moving forward um, in a positive way in our community. So really that's right now, again we're just a few months into this, but we had the two major projects of the consolidation of the school as well as the incorporation. The pastoral council, as I said, is taking that on right now. So we will continue to meet on a monthly basis and bring forward recommendations as, um, as appropriate to the pastoral council moving forward. So with that, I thank you. It's a real exciting group to be a part of. I'm part of that committee too, so I know what's going on. But uh, it's amazing to see the number of people especially to the uh, subcommittee that's working on bringing the two campuses together, uh, how broad they've uh, reached out to uh, the constituents involved, the faculty and the students, uh, to get some kind of input about what would be needed if we are able to bring our school together to one campus. And it's a very uh, exciting and interesting uh, meetings to go to. A lot of dreaming and thinking, and sometimes, you know, dreaming and thinking you have to bring yourself down a little bit because it doesn't always work. But anyway, I, I think it's been a very uh, helpful committee and the subcommittee that's working on the school issue is, is doing a marvelous job too. When I send that letter to the Archbishop, uh, it's not just his approval that has to be had. He has to put that before the uh, Archdiocesan Council of Priests as well as the, I think, the College of Consultors for the archdiocese. So I have not heard back from the archbishop uh, one way or the other uh, what's happening with that. That has to go to other processes in the archdiocese. So sometime this summer I would expect to either get a yes or no to continue going forward with the merger. If it's a no, well, then I guess we'll have another meeting here. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe another one if he says yes, because uh, there'll be resources from the archdiocese uh, Financial, not financial resources, but uh, canon law lawyers, uh, you know, dissolve through corporations. It's, we're not just a church corporation, but we're also a legal corporation in the in the state of Wisconsin. So that's uh, there will be lawyers involved at some point when we get to that point. So that's where that is another important thing that I didn't really think about until uh, Kelly Lemons, who's putting this all on for us here. You see her standing back there? Here. <laughs> oh. She's our new pastoral uh, associate for the three parishes. Uh, she's only been with us a month, but I think she's already discovered she has about 10 years of work to do <laughs> in, in the next three weeks. But one of the things she brought up to me, one of the things she brought up to me was, what about uh, the pastoral side if we move forward with the merger? looking at uh, things like obviously loss and grief about change in our life, but also trying to bring uh, people across our three parishes together to uh, talk about this in a faith dimension. And so she's working on putting together a committee. I know she has a few people on that already who will be working side by side with uh, the legal and financial stuff, but also trying to address and take care of the pastoral side of what will be going on. So I, I appreciate her. Uh, she comes to us from uh, Mequon, and the two parishes there that merged years ago but are still uh, working to bring two parishes together. So she comes with a lot of good ideas and uh, very dynamic. So I'm appreciative of that. Okay. Some other things that are going on. I've been writing uh, about the mass changes that will happen when Father Tom retires. Two weeks, two weeks. <laughs> and our worship committees uh, talk long and hard about what's the right way to do that and how do we reduce masses, looking at the numbers of people who are currently coming on our weekends. And we'll be trying this in the for this first year and the cluster council will be uh, reviewing that to see how things are shaking out with that. I've 
we'll have uh, Father Don Zirko. He's a retired priest of the Archdiocese, He's a senior priest who currently resides in uh, Newburgh. These last few years, he's been the assisting priest at St. John Nepomuk. John Nepomuk in Racine. So he's been driving down to Racine for weekends doing uh, their weekend liturgies. And there's some change down there, and he was looking not to drive as far, especially in wintertime. So it, it worked out well. He'll be starting with us that first weekend in July when our new uh, schedule goes into place. So that's a, another important thing that's going on. We're not sure how people will shake out and where they're going to go, uh, but we hope, we hope that uh, people continue to uh, support us and to move forward, especially if we're going to move forward in the merger. Uh, how do we uh, support and honor each other as we move forward, especially looking at the losses and new opportunities to serve in our parishes. In two weeks, when Father Tom retires, <laughs> there will no longer be a need for a priest's office in the, the building right next to this school. And uh, poor Amy Jo would be there all alone in a three-story building. And so we are planning on moving her to the St. Peter's office. Uh, I find it would be, it's going to improve my communication about what's going on with the staff rather than have to go to three <coughs> independent places. And also bringing together the staff and maybe we can start uh, moving some important things that each of these people are doing in three satellite locations uh, together and get a little bit more cooperation and understanding. But I see it more for communication. So the uh, 1800 North Wisconsin Street will be uh, one of our main points for our offices starting in July for these two parishes. And if we merge, I would see that eventually that that would be the one office for the, for the new entity, whatever it's going to be called. St. Patrick's, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> and St. Michael's. <laughs> but that's down the road as far as, that's down the road as far as, you know, what, what the new corporation, what the new parish entity would be called. It will be a new name if we go down that road. Uh, they won't keep the names of the three parishes that we have just to make sure everybody has a loss and something new to look at as we move forward. Okay, let me see. Did I miss anything? No. Do we want to take questions? <laughs> I, I'm willing to take questions. I may not have any answers, and certainly the trust.